the delivery dates of social security benefit payments and $1,400 specifically focused on social security including people receiving retirement, disability, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, SSI beneficiaries. I have got all the important details all you need to know right here in this video. So guys without further ado let's jump right into all the details. However guys before we start this video make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and without further ado let's jump right into all the details all right guys now i definitely understand that money is the tight thing right now for many low-income fixed income individuals households but don't worry i'm right over here to help you in any way shape or form now currently congress is working on various legislation so it's very essential to keep eye on all the important announcement from the federal government also onto the congress and therefore speaking of the potential stimulus check we need to consider that who could be potentially included in the next round in the next event of the stimulus check what type of a stimulus check it could be and why government would be issuing those stimulus check and most importantly how much money will be pumped into the economy how much money they'll be sending out and when you can expect to receive it i'll be breaking down all these important questions along with addressing any other question when it comes to the stimulus check the next round of a stimulus check the federal reserve really assesses the economy to determine how much stimulus is actually required to help out people to recover them from their current financial condition. Now once the amount is determined by Federal Reserve then basically money is printed out and injected into the economy. Now it's very important to note that Federal Reserve provides this kind of a stimulus money not out of their kindness but this is because they truly understand that if money is given to the people they will spend it right here into the economy in very different sectors whether it's food groceries clothing housing healthcare, you name it different kind of sectors if money were given to the people they will spend it into various different sectors into the economy and this is the most effective way to revive the economy instantly and here is where it comes to the intention behind the stimulus check and the main intention behind the stimulus money is to get quickly spent into the economy rather than saving it into the people's bank account government usually don't like stimulus money saved into people bank account because that really doesn't serve the purpose of the stimulus check government recognizes that the importance of injecting money into the economy this is most efficient mechanism to save and recover the economy instantly if people simply save their stimulus check basically they are not helping out the economy as much as they could government wants the money to be spent in various sectors such as groceries clothing and health care now by spending the money throughout the economy a positive impact will be generated numerous studies have shown that distributing the money through the stimulus check is the best way to boost the economy. So when it comes down to the next round of a stimulus check, government believes that it's crucial for people to spend their money on their needs. It doesn't matter what kind of a needs, but people must spend their stimulus check. Either they can do it by purchasing groceries, clothing, or other essential items, you name it. You are not only one taking care of yourself, but also supporting the economy by doing this course. Now here is where it gets really interesting. Now what does this mean for our businesses? Well, when we all receive our stimulus check, we tend to go and spend them out into the economy. This sudden increase into the consumer spending results in massive rush into stores like Walmart, Target and as a consequence, these businesses quickly run out of the stock on their products. And now to replenish their inventory, they must contact their suppliers and place orders for more and more items, more inventory. Subsequently, suppliers will reach out to their manufacturers and produce additional goods because more goods are being sold. It's essentially like a big chain effect and this chain effect stimulates the economy entire economy at once by spending the stimulus money wisely on necessities you are not only helping out the economy but also taking care of your own needs now remember the money is meant to be circulated throughout the economy to generate a positive impact now when it comes down to the stimulus checks it's very crucial to understand that spending them is not only beneficial for individuals but also for economy as a whole entire system. By using the money to purchase groceries, clothes and other essential items you are 
are not only taking care of your own needs but also contributing to overall economic growth. Now, the government recognizes the significance of the spending of the stimulus into the economy and ensuring its recovery in the entire process. As the individuals go out and spend their stimulus check, businesses experience a sudden surge in their customer demand. So therefore, stores like Walmart, Target quickly run out of their stock as people rush to make purchases. This leads to businesses reaching out to their suppliers and order more items. In turn, suppliers need to contact their manufacturers to produce additional goods. Now, basically, this one sets up a nuclear reaction. You could call it, you could say, it sets up a chain reaction, chain effect. It's like a domino effect that keeps the economy ongoing. Now, this rapid circulation of the money stimulates the entire economy in just a matter of weeks. It doesn't take much for this effect to start to kick in and have a significant impact onto the businesses, people and those who truly need it. Now, at this point, you might be wondering when will be the next round of a stimulus check will be issued? Well, the answer to this question depends on the economy economic situation. If it resembles the condition that we faced in the early 2020, it's very likely that similar criteria will be used for this time as well. Now regarding the amount of the stimulus check, it could be comparable to the third round of a stimulus check which was around $1,400. However guys, the specific amount will be going to depend on the eligibility and other important factors. And that's why we need to closely follow the government, what government is saying to get a clearer picture of the economic condition and what government thinks about the economy. Does government realize that it's the time to send out the stimulus check? That's really important aspect. Now, why would the government issue stimulus checks in the first place? Well, this is an interesting question and the answer lies in the goal of stimulating the economy. By providing money to individuals, government aims to support businesses and help them sustain themselves as well. In the previous round of a stimulus check, approximately 85% of the population, which amounts to around 280 million Americans received an assistance stimulus check of one sort of another. Now, if another round were to be approved, it's likely that fixed income beneficiaries such as Social Security, SSI, SSDI, people on retirement, VA beneficiaries, people on railroad beneficiaries, RRB, those group of people will be most likely included in the another round of a stimulus check. As of right now, there is no apparent reason why these specific groups would be excluded from the next event of stimulus check. As for the expected amount of the stimulus check, it's a bit more complicated. The next stimulus check could be ranging from $1,200 going all the way up to $2,000, obviously depending on the eligibility criteria and various other factors. However, we'll have to wait and see what gets approved. Now, the dynamics of the situation indicate that if economy continues to decline, there is a high likelihood of another round of stimulus check being issued. The amount of the money provided by the stimulus check is determined by the severity of the economic crisis. So, we can expect the check to be somewhere around between the ranges of $1,200 going all the way up to $2,000 based on the needs of the economy. Timing is also crucial. The stimulus check will be issued when economy reaches to the point where government must intervene. Government intervention is necessary to support the people. It's essential to keep eye on various parameters indicating that determine the severity of the economic crisis and government's response on it. And currently, guys, it's very difficult to predict when this will be going to happen, monitoring the key indicators such as jobs market, because when economy shows signs of contraction, usually jobs are lost. Conversely, jobs are gained, indicating expanding signs of the economy. And with more businesses growing, new startups emerging, we need to pay close attention to the jobs market as it plays a significant role in our economy. Now, when it comes down to monitoring the job market and role of the Federal Reserve in stimulating the economy through quantitative easing and, and the current status of stimulus check, let's jump right into. Now, speaking of the current status of the stimulus check, at the end of the day, jobs are crucial number key indicator for our economy and it's essential to closely monitor the job market and ensure the sustainable economic 
growth because but currently we are clearly aware of the economic situation it's not in its best shape as of right now we have witnessed businesses contracting leading to job losses increasing unemployment rate also the recent debt ceiling crisis now here is the thing to address these issues federal reserve has been raising the interest rate to help control the situation and when the economy falls into severe contraction you call it recession the federal reserve steps in and uses their strategy what known as quantitative easing or QE. Now quantitative easing involves basically printing out bunch of money, a significant amount of money and injecting that money into the economy. Shortly speaking, it's stimulus check, sending stimulus check right here into the economy. Essentially what we are referring to as a stimulus check. Now quantitative easing really supports the economy by increasing the inflation which raises the prices of goods and services thereby helping maintain the employment levels. Regarding the Federal Reserve strategy of printing money, you may be familiar with the fact that they have been printing around 120 billion dollars each and every month. In reality, it's not a physical printing out of money but rather they allocate bunch of numbers to currency. It's rather a digital process of creating new money by adjusting the digits onto the computer rather i'd say this is a clever and sophisticated method of printing money and this one is carried out on larger extent when economy is contracting now federal reserve releases hundreds and billions of dollars into the businesses into economy through unemployed and the general public through stimulus checks various other reliefs are also taken stimulus check relief checks rebates as it as it forms a closed loop system to support the economic stability it's important to note that as of right now no stimulus checks have been approved by government or congress the specific amount whether it will be $1,200, $1,400, $1,600, $2,000 or any value for that matter is yet to be finalized and once I receive any latest update, I will keep you posted on the latest update. Now coming over to the Social Security SSI SSDI, let me summarize the September payment schedule. On to the first of the month, there will be two important payments going out. First is the SSI recipient. All the supplemental security income beneficiaries will be going to receive their payment on first of the September and the next important payment onto the 1st September is all those social security beneficiaries who received their social security before May 1997 do check out 1st of the September for your payments to be deposited then 13th of the September if your birth date lies between 1st to 10th of the month if your birth date lies between 11th to 20th of the month then do check out 20th of the September for your payments to be deposited and if your birth date lies between 21st to 31st of the month then be sure to check out 27th of the September for your payments and talking about the second deposit for the SSR recipient it will be happening on 29th of the September 2023 and guys with that being said I hope you found the September payment schedule quite interesting do let me know make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from how to guys see you in the next video fixed income beneficiaries payment schedule